you go to somebody's house and they have a shelf full of carnival prizes, you're going to look at them and you're going to admire them. Hi guys, it's Misty and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a haul video. It is a haul video from some, a little flea market that I had gone to and in an antique store that I'd went to. Now I didn't film the shop with me because like I say, sometimes I just want to go and shop and I don't want to film the shopping. So I'm filming the haul, which is going to be fun. But before I do that, I am going to do a little bit of an unboxing. Now, Julia Jewelry is a company that I love. I wear their jewelry all the time. Full disclosure though, they did send me this box of jewelry, which is a necklace. I will give you that little spoil alert for free to do a review. They have sent them to me before. I love them. I'm very, very particular. I will not, you know, advertise another company unless I know the company and I've used the company and I know that their, their products are very, very good. Now, Julia Jewelry had sent me this box and I'm getting ready to open it with you right now. All of their jewelry is made by 925 Sterling Silver. It doesn't tarnish. It's just lovely. They have big statement pieces and they have simple pieces like I like. I like kind of the, just the minimalist pieces. Uh, so they do make, the, all of their products are made from environmentally conscious materials, which is very important to me as well. And in the description below, you will get a coupon code that you can use if you would like to purchase some Julia jewelry for someone that you love. The holidays are coming up, just saying. Um, they, the shipment is pretty quick, so it, it does come to you in a nice, timely manner. And I did pick out this item, so I'm really excited about it. Something that I've been thinking about for a while. Um, in the box, it does come with this nice little gift bag that you can use to give your gift. It does come with another coupon code, some care instructions, and it also comes with this big catalog. And inside, you can see they do have a lot of wedding pieces and statement pieces. There's Groot. You can even get you a Groot ring. Um, very minimal pieces. They have these photo rings. Just a lot. These would actually make really nice gifts for a grandma. So I really like their products. So I'm getting ready to open my necklace. It comes in this nice little little velvety bag. All right, let's open it up. All right, so what I ordered is a necklace that says my name, Misty. That's me. The I have another necklace that has the state of Indiana on it, and I put it on backwards all the time. So let's see if I can put this on spelling my name the correct way. So this necklace is made from 925 sterling silver. It will not tarnish. The other necklaces that I got from Julia as well as uh, the earrings and I have a bracelet. I, I wear it for days and days and days and don't take it off. I wash my hands, take my shower in it. It doesn't tarnish. So I like it. So if you want some more information on Julia Jewelry, I will link all of their information below. So thank you, Julia Jewelry, and I will wear my Misty necklace so everybody can know my name. Someone say, hi, Misty. I'm like, how do you know my name? And what's on my necklace? That's how they knew my name. Anyway, let's get on with the haul because it's going to be a good one. I'm really excited to show you the things that I got from this flea market. Okay, I'm standing behind my table now, and I've got some really, really cool things to show you. What am I going to start with? Well, let's start with some coloring books, Okay. Now, I got some of these at a yard sale and some of them at the flea market that I had gone to. And I didn't film because, like I said, I just wanted to shop. I just wanted to shop. So these coloring books, I got three of them. I want to say I paid a dollar for all three. They have, well, this one has not been colored in at all. And it is a Star Trek, not Star Trek. Like, I have always called it Star Trek. Now, it's Star Trek with an E in it. This is from 1978 from uh, Whitman. Oh, I love me a Whitman thing. I love Whitman. Whitman, you just knew how to do it. So it's a, it's a coloring book. These could be really collectible. When you're finding them, try to look and make sure that they've not been colored in. 
that that can usually hurt it in value this one also has never been colored in and it is 1979 buck rogers do you remember buck rogers i know that you know who star trek is but do you know who buck rogers is he's a spaceman in a white suit he means business that's all i know about him Oh, I have two Buck Rogers. This one is from 1979 as well. And this one has, well, a whole cast of characters in it. Not quite sure what's going on. That looks like a robot. Uh, I don't know who she is. And maybe that's Buck Rogers. That's his girlfriend. We'll say. I don't know. But it's a color and activity book by Whitman. I'm not quite sure how much these are worth on eBay, but I probably will sell the two Buck Rogers together and obviously the Star Trek by itself. Um, I also picked up this Star Trek baby doll. Well, I don't want to say it's a Barbie doll, but it's Captain Kirk. He is a 12 and a half fully posable, authentic, authentically costumed Star Trek figure made by Mego. Now Mego is a pretty well known maker of these little miniature dolls. This one is a 12 and a half inch doll. So this is recommended for children over four years old. It's still new in the box. Um, not quite sure what this is going to go for, but um, I'll put comps right there in the corner so you can see. So this is something that I will be putting up on eBay as well. And then I also picked up, since we're talking about books, um, a mechanics handicraft. I you know that I like this ephemera stuff. I like to look at the fonts and I just think that these things are cool. But this is Mechanics Handicraft, Fighting Fires from the Air, in this contraption, which looks very, very frightening, building a midget mobile, harnessing ocean waves, and science, invention, and experiments. This is from November. Where are you from? 1936. Mechanics Handicraft. Look at him. Look at him. He's fighting a fire. Flying from a parachute. Yeah. So I like to look at these mainly because of the illustrations that are in it. Let's see if we can find something good. Oh, well, here we go. If you ever need to know how to mount a squirrel, there's all your instructions right there. That's all you need to know. If you go into any of the great museums of natural history, you will find beautiful specimens of birds, beasts, and reptiles preserved and mounted in lifelike positions. The mounting of these is called taxidermy, a delightful as well as profitable occupation which the field is not overcrowded. Okay, but I like the graphics on it. Like that. Okay, and then I... um. I got those at the yard sale. What else did I get at the yard sale? Oh, I got this at the yard sale. This is a napkin ring with an owl on it, and it is made out of metal. So it's cast, it's hollow cast. I don't see a maker's mark on it anywhere, but it's an owl. And so you can use it as a display. I just thought it was cool. Look at the filigree and stuff on that and the way that that is designed. I liked it. He's a wise old owl. So I got that. And I want to say I paid a dollar for that. I got some Jeffrey, some Jeff eggs, as my dad likes to call them. Got some Jeff eggs. Um, I paid a quarter a piece for them. Here is a little cracked vase, cracked egg vase. And I call them Jeff eggs because my dad calls Jeffrey, real empty vintage, Jeff all of the time. And Jeffrey likes, he, he buys these often. And I this is kind of where I started picking them up because I saw that Jeffrey was buying them and selling them. So this one is pink. These two do not have a mark on them. These don't. And I think that they're made by the same company. This one is, I think this is Napco Wear. Are you Napco Wear? Yeah, you're Napco Wear. And it is fancy. And it actually has like muted fall colors on it. So I think it's quite lovely. Has some roses on it. And I like the little feet. So this one's a little fancier than those. But they were a quarter a piece. Uh, I also picked up this. And I am keeping this because I love these things. And it is just a silver plate, crusty, trophy-looking cup. But look at the handles on there. And there's a bird. Oh, I love this to put dried flowers in. So this is going home with me. 
I'm keeping you. All right, I also picked up, these were a dollar each, and actually I'm going to sell these in uh, this Wednesday's sale because they're kind of Halloween-esque. Uh, I did a Halloween sale last Wednesday, but I have more things that I'm going to trickle in through. But this is a uh, lighter fluid that I will empty. So don't worry about it causing a fire. But it has the devil on it. And that is would look nice in a Halloween display. These are not extremely old. They do have a barcode on them. You're not supposed to sell this to children. So I just, I like advertisement pieces. So I picked those up for a dollar each. I think that they'll look fun in a Halloween display. Okay, what else? Oh, I picked the this up at a yard sale. You cannot go wrong with a set of these vintage Tupperware measuring cups. I have a set of these and I love them. And in fact, I'm kind of thinking that I might keep these because you know, you never can, you can never have too many. The ones I have are the Harvest Gold and I kind of like the orange ones better. But these are amazing. These are my favorite measuring cups. These do have a resale value though, because people like me love these and they want them in their kitchen. Maybe they will strike a memory from baking with their mother and in the, in the 80s when those were uh, sold. So I don't know. I love them myself. You just can't go wrong with a nice set of Tupperware measuring cups. And I think I paid a quarter for them. The next thing I got, I paid... I did, I asked them to take $3, so I got a dollar off. So I did pay $3 for these patriotic, let me show you this side. This side is what means the most to me, is the patriotic cookie cutters. There are four of them in the box. I guess I could have taken them out of the bag so there wasn't a glare. But here is the box. And it's got George Washington and Abraham Lincoln. And then on this side, it's got the cookie cutters themselves. So we've got Abraham Lincoln, George Washington, the United States, and the American Eagle. I like these. These are what I consider a twofer because you can use the lid of the box. Actually, these are a threefer. These are a threefer. You can use the lid as display. You can use the inside of the box as a display and you can use the cookie cutters to make cook it's a fourfer it's a fourfer you can make cookies and use them as a display so for three dollars absolutely and i haven't decided what i'm going to do with these yet but and also if you're watching this and you see something that maybe you're interested in you can send me an email thrifter junker vintage hunter and ask me if it's still available and i will give you a price and we can work out all the details so the things that i'm showing you are for sale right now so you can send me a message if you see anything that you're interested in all right i also at the yard sale i paid i think a quarter a piece for these glass flower frogs so i've got these two big ones and then this smaller one now i myself have these in my displays i have them in a grouping in like a planter um some people will display their marbles in them if they're a marble collector and people still actually put these in a pot and they do use them for floral arranging. Arranging. So you put this in a pot and it has this little lip and it sits on the pot and then you can put your flowers in there to make your arrangements. But they also look cool just sitting around in your display. So I got those at that same yard sale. I'm just looking to say, oh, and I got this. Now this I'm keeping, just so you know, because I collect this stuff. And it is Santa Claus land not holiday world they changed the name to holiday world it's it's santa claus land it will always be santa claus land but i collect santa claus land things this was 75 cents but i gladly paid that for a santa claus land plate see up there it says santa claus land and it's in indiana the old post office the original now you can send your letters to santa claus indiana and they will be uh postmarked from Santa Claus, Indiana. I think that they still do that. I don't know. It's been a while since my children have written a letter to Santa, so I'm not quite sure. Okay, I'm just, oh, I also got this. This is a um, acro agate little uh, flower pot. I just liked it. I paid a quarter for it. Just a swirly acro agate. Um, 
little vase. Perfect for an airplane. I like that it has the amber color in it too. So that will be available too. Um, what else did I get from there? I got this little uh, egg cup with the little bunny on it. Perfect for an air plant. That's right. Oh, I guess he's, he's sitting, you sitting awfully weird for a bunny. He's sitting weird. You see how he's sitting? Bunnies don't sit that way, but he does. Okay, so what else did I go? Oh, I got, I think this is the last thing that I got from that yard sale. It was a, that was a score of a yard sale. Now I think I got this too. I paid a dollar. This was the first thing that I saw at the yard sale and it's a chalkware dog. It's a chalkware collie, I think, Australian dog. It's just, it's not a bank. It's just a nice carnival prize. Um, and it's in chalkware condition. It's a normal chalkware condition. It does have a little bit of dings and stuff like that in it where the chalk, the paint has come off of the chalk. It's actually made by plaster and they just call it chalkware because it kind of feels like chalky. But I got him for a dollar and I think he's lovely. I love these. I think it's great to have a bunch of these sitting up on a shelf because I like to, you know, bundle. I like to bunch up things, have a collection of one certain thing on a shelf. I think that's just fascinating to me. You go to somebody's house and they have a shelf full of carnival prizes. You're going to look at them and you're going to admire them because it's kind of something, you know, it, it's, it's something. So that's just the way I feel about that. All right. The last thing that I got from there, I love this. It's lovely. This is out of my wheelhouse because this is fancy. This is in my wheelhouse. This is in my wheelhouse. My wheelhouse, you know. This delicate little perfume bottle is not, but I couldn't resist it because it's just beautiful. I knew to, I need to do a little bit more research on it. It is hand blown. The, the Pontel mark has been sanded down. I got this for $3. I asked that they take a dollar off and they did. It has these beautiful hand painted flowers on there. The glass itself, it's going to be hard to pick up, but it has a little bit of a pearlescent tone to it. My favorite thing about this is the stopper. It's got the perfume, the long tip stopper along the handle here is more hand painted flowers. It's lovely. It's delicate and sweet. It still smells like perfume. Oh, and then, you know, a lady, oh my gosh, it smells so good. A lady would, you know, take this and she'd pour her perfume in there and just dab a little bit on her neck. Can't you see a fancy lady doing that? Dab a little bit on her wrists. It's beautiful. That does smell really nice. Golly. Okay, so I'm not quite sure it, who this is made by. Um, I'm going to do a little bit more research on it. It's in excellent condition. There isn't any chips, flaws on it anywhere. I think that it's lovely. It does have a little bit of staining on the bottom from the perfume. I will see if I can get that out, but then it'll take away the smell. So I don't know if I'm going to do that because you know I'm a purist. and I, I like to leave things as they are. I mean, I wipe them off a little bit, but I kind of want to leave the perfume in there. It smells lovely. So this was a great find. I was excited about that. All right, the next, everything else I'm going to show you, I got from either the, there was a flea market right next to the antique mall that I, that I typically go to. And I only picked up, I think, two things. No, just one thing. I only bought, really? I only bought one thing from the antique mall. I'm not quite sure. I don't quite remember. This was a couple weeks ago. So let's just say, I, I, I know that I got this from the antique mall because a viewer had seen me during the shop with me and they really liked it. So I decided to go back and get it. So if you were that viewer, I got the food dog. I got the food dog. Don't know how old it is. I don't think that it's extremely old, but the, someone said that they wanted it. So I got it. And you know what? He would look great in a, in a Halloween display. <laughs> He's kind of creepy looking. So I got the food dog. Um, I also got 
this green goblet. It's perfect for Halloween, perfect for Christmas, perfect for St. Patrick's Day. You can put a plant in it. You can put candy in it. I don't remember how much I paid for it, but I guarantee you it wasn't very much. So I got that. I also got this piece of amber glassware. I think this will be pretty with a candle in it for an autumn display. Don't know who made it. Don't know the pattern. Maybe you can tell me in the comments because you guys know about these patterns a lot more than I do. And then I picked up this that I'm keeping. A little thumbtacks inside of this scotch tape. Mine, I'm keeping this because it's going into my collection. This is in excellent condition as well. I will get rid of the thumbtacks. I don't need those. Um, I also picked up this little thing. I don't know what this says. Maybe you guys can tell me. And I don't know why. I need to clean it up because it's a little grimy. But it's a little cup that's got a bear inside of it. And I don't know what that says. Evening something. I don't know. It's a mystery, but it was unusual. I don't know. I just thought it was cute. I got that. I am going to clean it up, though. What else did I get? I got Saputa Schnudas. This was amazing to me. I got a lot of poodle brooches. I got, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine poodle jewelry pieces. So I'm just going to show you each one. I don't think any of them have a maker's mark, but here is a little king, a little king poodle. Here is a little Fifi poodle with her little bow. Here is just another little great poodle with little jeweled eyes. Here we, oh, oh, just dropped a poodle on the floor. I'll pick him up in a minute. Here we have a little uh, downward dog poodle with red jeweled eyes. It's just, it's another poodle with one red eye. And we have, oh, you know what? We got a gold one and a silver one. Poodles. And this one is fun. This is just a little black, a black poodle with a red jeweled eye. I retrieved the fallen poodle and it's a little gold poodle and he looks mad. He's got red eyes and look at those little feet. They're ready to fight. So I got those brooches and then I got this necklace and it's made out, it's, it's copper. It's a copper poodle necklace. Look at that. That's a copper poodle necklace. It's a stinking copper poodle necklace. I think that it's Gorgeous. Copper bell. I paid a dollar each for those. So that was a bargain. And then I got a some uranium glass. I paid a dollar for this. It's just one single shaker. It's still cool. And then I got... Ooh, now I don't find the, the gold uranium glass very often. But look at the, okay, look at the, the workmanship there on that applied leg. Ooh, it just, you cannot, you can't really appreciate it unless you see it in person. But, oh yeah, that's good. That's uranium. So I got that little pedestal bowl and then I got a, oh, I got all these from the flea market that was right outside the door of the antique mall. I got a banana boat. A banana split boat that is uranium as well. So, really cool pieces of uranium glass. This one I've not seen before. I did pay $5 for it, so I did pay up for it. It's an excellent condition. I, you, I've never seen this before, so I really, I really liked it. So I did pay up a little bit for that. And then the last thing that I got, just, you're, are you sitting down? You, you may just need to be sitting down right now. I'm about to show you something that may just knock you off your feet. Because it just about knocked me off my feet. Are you ready? I got some Royal Copley Poodle Planters. Twins. Look! I love them! 
I love them. They are amazing. Oh my gosh. And I paid a dollar each for them. I know. I about died. There, this one has one little spot right there, a little chip on that side. But my goodness, they're lovely. This one is flawless. Oh, I love them. They're very kind of majolica looking. They're fabulous. I could not believe it. I was so excited. That like made me excited for the rest of the day was finding those two poodle planters. But I hope that you did enjoy this video. I love finding these little trinkets and treasures and I especially love being able to show them to you once I get them home and get them all unwrapped and set them out on my table. So it's a lot of fun for me. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for to Julia Jewelry for uh, sending me this necklace that I will wear. If I won't take it off for a little while, I will wear it 24 hours a day for quite a while. So thank you so much. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Make sure that you do check in the, descri the description below the information to get some savings on your own piece of Julia Jewelry and the link for your own name necklace will be in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure that you give it a thumbs up and I will see you in my next video. Bye.